Armadale and his five days of drinking, passing, free shit, five days of seminars and not forgetting the politics. It's not that often you get that close to the people that are running the country. You know that ain't happening in England. There's gonna be eggs and shit all over the place. Yes, and Stefan Levine has got a head like a potato. That's immigration right there. Black and white dog together in harmony. That's beautiful. That's what Armadarlan's all about. What Armadarlan means for you then? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it? Uh, it's very crowded, but it's really beautiful and it's nice to have some tourists. And what does Armadarlan then mean to you? Um, boring people. I well, need party people, not serious tie and all the suit and everything. And um, what does Armadale mean to you there? Well, this day especially, uh, it's called, so we're here with the gymnastics and we're doing so it's like having a fun day. Your parents uh, move yeah. out of their house and, and, yeah, we're um, in. We're and rent it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not doing, this, doing it this year, but we usually do it. I know my friends are renting out and they're making 45,000 a week. One of the nice things about Gotland is the cobbled streets. It's great if you've got weak angles because you keep twisting them. Stockholm cabbie. Why drive all this way? Can't you earn enough money in Stockholm? You have to rob from the locals. I suppose that's why Stockholm people are so rich. What does Armadala mean for you? It's mean a lot. I have seen Armadala this week, you know, if you mean. Yes. It's mean a lot. I've been here from the beginning. And don't drink too much because it is a Wednesday. You're not allowed to drink on a Wednesday. It's small, the Saturday. They call it in Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, you have to learn Swedish. Yes, I will. A lot of you may see Frederick Eklund on telly. He has a program about real estate and this is his party. What's that in there? What do you do with a drink like this? How do you drink it? Maybe I get a bottle and a um, vasca. Perfectly cool wish. It's a summer champagne that needs to be indulgent with lots of ice. So Armadalen, is it all about champagne and rose wine and no politics? <laughs> Not really. I'm just wearing shorts and t-shirt and everybody's dressed like proper Stockholm people. If this church was in England, they would have bought a new roof. Jesus is always collecting for a new roof. It doesn't matter what church you're going to. Good on you, Jesus. This place is haunted. Pizza, I hope he's washed his hands. So instead of red carpet, it's orange carpet. Could actually be an ice beefer. Is that hot? Is that much drink? And these politicians really know how to party on a Monday. So this is what you call Swedish politics. So that's how you party at Armadale and Swedes going crazy Monday night. Oh my days. I've never seen anything like it in my life. You alright mate? Had a bit too much to drink. Don't worry, it's only Monday. You still got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You've got a week actually. So day two, it all starts again. Seminar after seminar, walking around, getting free newspapers, and then the drinking starts around about lunchtime. Look like you're from Stockholm. You're dressed like you're from Stockholm. I'm eating some uh, sausages. What do you call that in Swedish? Core cool brood. Warm, uh, warm core. Warm, warm, warm core. Warm core. Okay, and what does Armadale mean to you then? 
It's, uh, oh look, there's two girls kissing. Sweden, the crime rate is rising. Have you ever stole a pen from work? <laughs> I think so. And, and what does the Armadala mean to you guys? Uh, it means a lot. We've been here many times since our um, childhood and uh, we love the place. It's really empty. And, and are you into politics? Who uh, says the best looking politician? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think Göran Hägglund. Best looking. Oh, bear in mind your girlfriend is standing right there. Can't say nothing. His girlfriend's looking at him. She's gonna smash him in the face when you get round the corner. He's wearing more makeup than women. I know he's on the telly, but Jesus. So, what are you guys campaigning for? This is for the safety, fire safety in homes for uh, elderly and vulnerable people. They have all the right to have a good uh, fire reduction system and not. Uh, be killed in fires actually. Nobody puts baby in the corner. My first seminar. Scandinavian Airlines and I'm about to try out one of their seats, new seats. Here it is. Just look at that luxury. I'm going to try it. It's, what is it? Chocolate balls? What's this? Curry powder? <laughs> okay, so salty chocolate balls. Let's try it. Just do it. Be <laughs> fun. That's Nutella. That's Nutella on a stick. Everybody in Stockholm loves a fast car, an expensive car. Now it's time for the supercar that drives itself. This is what it's like to be in a luxury self-drive car. I'm very privileged here at Armadarland. Um, they've let me sit in the car while everybody else is watching me. Um, I've just noticed one floor. Where'd you put your skis? What do you think to all these Stockholm types coming down here in their flashy clothes, drinking rosé wine? Waste of taxpayer money. I live in Shalefti and we all dress like hillbillies. <laughs> I noticed you dress really smart. Can you yeah. talk me through your outfit? Yeah. Well, uh, this is a uh, Tom Ford uh, suit jacket, Prada pants and uh, Gucci, uh, Gucci shoes. <laughs> guys we dress like hillbillies down there you need to sort yourselves out this is how you dress well no Jimmy Orickson thanks for watching that video don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you want me to come to an event why not send me an email